Mm. I, I would say any uh, quarterback in the league um, would probably get down on themselves the way I get down on myself uh, when it comes to turnovers. Um, you know, it, especially when, when your defense is playing well and uh, you turn the ball over, uh, none of us, you know, try to do that. We don't ever want that to happen, but we do know it's a part of the game that we play. Um, so uh, games are never won in the first, second, or third quarter, and I understand that. And uh, as, we, as we went into halftime, I knew that I just had to come out and uh, just continue to, to play the football that I should be playing to the standard that, you know, I expect from myself and my teammates expect from me. And uh, we had to play those those two quarters, you know, uh, uh, clean. And there was still one mishap that got to continue to, to clean up. But outside of that, you, you just got to continue to play. Um, the games aren't won after you throw an interception in the first or second quarter. Uh, not really. Not, not really. Um, it's really just the being on the same page with some of the guys. And then the one to Tyreek, that was just behind him. Like, he, that was, that was not, not a good throw. That was a bad throw. Yeah, it, it, it means a lot. Um, but that's, that's just the nature of how I, I play the position. Um, I take it upon myself every time, regardless of Mike saying that uh, it was his play calling. He entrusts me to go out there with whatever play that we have. And if it's not the right coverage that we want that play in to get us out of it, throw the ball away, do something, but uh, not, not uh, you know, throw, throw a pick six in that situation. So um, I, I appreciate, you know, the, the, the trust that he continues to have in me, but uh, that, that's something that I, I can't do. I think he's done a, a really good job sort of mitigating the, the outside noise. Um, I do understand um, as a competitor, he wants to be in the mix with Reek of uh, continuing to, to make plays for the team. Um, you know, and sometimes that, you know, he, he does have big games, but it's, you know, sort of minimized because of the production that Tyreek gives our offense. But, you know, I, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I think highly of Jalen and, I mean, he's going to continue to do things that, that we need for him to do to help us win games down the stretch. And, uh, you know, this past game, you've seen it. Go watch what kind of a uh, player he is in a blocking game. Go watch what kind of player he is. Uh, very physical. Um, you know, he, he's, he's really like, and I, I really say this as a testament to, to him, um, you know, obviously being the competitor he is, like, he doesn't really come up to me and like tell me like, dude, throw me the ball or like he just understands like when my when my op is is here, like I'm going to make sure I make use of all, all of that. So, um, you know, it's it's not it's not something where we're trying to put Jalen to the side. Jalen's in the mix. It's just as we run plays for him, the coverages just don't allow us, you know, the the throw for you know, the right look for, for Jalen. But, you know, he's continued to stick it in there. And, uh, you know, I think he's done a great job. Um, well, it's, it's apparent um, we're, we're getting a lot of points, um, you know, down this stretch off of our runs, which definitely helps, um, you know, try, in trying to control a game where you can run first down, second down. Uh, you can get third and manageable, and you can go from there. Um, and then for us to be able to sustain drives while running the ball and not always passing, it allows us to go off our action game um, and things like that. But he's done a great job. It's also a testament to Butch and what he's done uh, with our O-line in a run game and also in the pass game. Well, I don't think I can give you um, a spiel of what the future is going to look like for our team. Um, regardless of how we feel as players, we can feel good, you know, about our record eight and three going into this week and, and the home stretch. Um, none of what we feel is going to matter. Um, we're going to have to prepare the same exact way we prepared every other week um, as we go out there and play uh, uh, the commanders. And, um, you know, that's, that's just the task at hand right now. We're going to have to beat those guys. That was, that was crazy. That was crazy. Row tide. Row tide. Bet. Bet. Friendly wagers. Friendly wagers. <laughs>
Uh, we we got we got um, you know if if Georgia wins, I gotta wear Georgia things, and then um, if Alabama wins, you know those guys gotta wear Alabama things. That's uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's good. Um, yeah, I was uh, told by by my wife um, that um, like she didn't see it, but then she got text messages uh, from you know people about what it looked like, and uh, <laughs> they said it was disgusting while they were eating their leftover uh, meals. <laughs> it's just, uh, I, I, sorry, I couldn't help you there. Like I didn't know it it it, it like it happened until I came to the sideline, um, and then Mike White. Uh, sort of pointed it out. I guess it was just from the adrenaline. But it was a nice chunk that came off. So someone can find that piece. That's yours. <laughs> yeah, I got I got stitches. Um, yeah, it was, it was, I think, like, the way it looked as they were stitching it, it looked very complex for them to, like, put it together, put it back together. But, I mean, it looks really good. Uh, it was a long time. I was, like, laying down. So I don't know. Um, well, I think it'll be a great story for Ace when he grows up. I, I saved three people in the ocean, and I got bit by a shark. I mean, 500-pound shark, I killed it. Yeah, no, yeah. I, that's how fast I was in the water. That's a great question. Um, I think a lot of it has to do with um, situational ball. Um, understanding what we're trying to get done, what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, but then it also, it also stresses the importance of the ball itself. Um, regardless of what we're trying to do, if we're trying to push the ball down the field, if it's not the exact look, uh, live to see another down. Throwing the ball away, um, you know, checking it down, whatever it may be, you know, that's as long as we're ending the, the, the drive with a kick. Um, you know, that's, that's what we'd like to do and not turn the ball over. So uh, we should be better at that uh, this upcoming week. Yeah, those guys, they make it, uh, they make it tough up front um, with the things they, they do. Um, I mean, they, they run their games, but also what they do playing either the two-eye or three-techs. I mean, it, you know what, what they do? They, they jet up the field. How, how we block that, you know, it'll, it'll come down to – to, I think, different technique um, that we'd have to use, um, you know, especially the way they rush. Um, almost very similar to, to the Jets' um, sort of front with their jet front. But outside of that, uh, you know, we'll see. They're, they're really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very comfortable. Um, I understand, you know, within the protections, um, where the meat of the protection is. I understand, you know, if... You know, someone early in the game is getting beat. Okay, you know, I'm going to trust that he's not going to, you know, do that the next time. So I'm going to trust that it's, you know, he's going to block it the way he should. And if it doesn't, like, I have a clock in my head and then I know where my checkdowns are going to be in case that does happen. Uh, but outside of that, I'm just playing within the structure of the offense, um, how we talk about what we want to do as far as our reads in the progression. Um, and then if someone does lose, you know, what's our check down? What's our check down off of the first read? So things like that. December football, uh, I learned how to fall. Learned how to fall. So, um, yeah, this is, this is where you make your money here. Um, you know, games, you know, just like these games this past uh, Sunday, that's what games are going to start to look like as we, uh, you know, sort of travel deeper into um, – December and then early into January is going to be closer games, going to be, uh, you know, one score games, going to come down to whoever gets the ball last. And uh, you got to go win, win the ball game from there. Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get a chance to meet up with him. I think we stay on uh, Maryland's campus. So, wow. I got the old oh, Talia fade. Hmm? You so you kind of got the old oh, Talia fade when you used to. Yeah, uh, well, my brother's hair is like, his hair is real long. Mine's, mine's is like, yeah, it's, it's not even close to his, but his is, his is real long. With my hair? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to braid it up again, just letting it grow out. I just love scratching my scalp, man. Feels good to scratch it. I'm telling you, if you've never had braids, that, ooh.
Got a piet. Yeah, but patting's no good. No good. I'd, I'd rather just go and scratch it. That was cool, huh? Uh, I had to cut that that jacket, uh, the Black Friday jacket, just because we didn't want it to touch um, as I was taking it off. Uh, we didn't want it to touch my, my wound. But, um, yeah, we'll definitely be seeing that again. Oh, I'm, t I'm, I'm talking about my, sorry, not the jacket. I'm talking about uh, my jersey. Sorry. I thought that's what you were talking about. Yeah. The jacket. So the jacket. I didn't buy the jacket. Um, the jacket was given to me as a gift um, on my birthday last year or earlier this year. Um, and shout out to Rick Ross. That was his uh, birthday present to me. Okay. So I appreciate it. Yeah. I, I feel bad for whatever Fox or whatever that thing was. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Yeah. But yeah, I couldn't go out and buy myself that. That's just. <laughs> Dang. Thanks, guys. Thank you.